praying and he has some questions about Islam. Yeah? All right. Can we have an agreement on the discussion? The agreement is as follows. If I answered you and the answers make sense to you and I convince you Islam is the right way, will you accept to be Muslim today? According to your sense, not to me. Even if it's the truth with Islam, even if Islam was the truth, you will not accept it. Just today it wouldn't be enough. I will need time. No, my uh, point is, yes, listen, listen. Yeah, if it makes sense, if it is. If it makes sense, if Islam makes sense to you, not to me, yeah. Will you accept to be Muslim? That's my yeah. question. Okay. It's mine. It's my. It's my duty now to convince you and to make sense to you. Now, now it's totally up to you to accept or not. But that's why we'll have an, this agreement. If Islam, if uh, my answers. Yeah and Islam made sense to you, will you accept to be Muslim? Okay. Yeah? If it makes sense, but not to, right now, not today. Why but not? Yes, why why not? The, the truth is to be followed, to be embraced, correct? Yes. Yeah? Fine? Okay. All right. Ask. So in, in the Quran, it says that Amr is Amr, I believe so. Amal? Amal. Okay, yeah. Is the father of uh, Mary. No. No. Nope. What do you mean? Uh, Imran, Imran. Yeah, okay. So, but isn't Imran also the father of Moses and his brother? So, is this the same person, a different person? Because it is the grandfather of Jesus. Yeah, now here, Imran, that they said Al Imran, that could be the direct parents of Mary, you know, peace be upon her, and as well could be the, an ancestry parent. So, these things in Islam. Both of them considered to be father, because I could. My name is Muhammad. My father's name is Zahir. My grandfather's name is Muhammad. My great grandfather's name is Fayyad. I could say myself, I'm the son of Fayyad, which is the great grandfather, and I could say I'm the I'm the son of Muhammad, the other one. I could say I'm the son of Ali, radiyallahu anhu, because he's the great grandfather of us. So I could say any of these ones. So it's fine, in, 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 in these things are considered, because the grandfather is considered to be a father. Okay. And that's why they call it grandfather. It's even in English, means it's a father. father. But, but big, but, grand, big one. Yeah. But shouldn't it be from the same lineage? Because, Which one? So this is what it says, Imran, the, it says grandfather of Jesus. And I understand you're saying that it's, um, it can be the grandfather, it can be true uh, bloodline of Mary. That's what you're saying. Yeah, both sides, by the way. Could be father's side or mother's side. It's fine. What do you mean by father's side? Now, here the Prophet, peace be upon him as well, used as well the same term for his grandsons. He didn't have sons. He had grandsons from his daughters. He used to say to his two grandsons, those are my sons. Yeah? And as well, they used to name them, those are the sons of Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam. So that's the same thing. It goes in both sides. So the grandfather, a father from both sides, whether from father's side or mother's side. Does that make sense? Okay. Now the question is, you said Christianity makes sense to you, right? <coughs> now, if the faith, of, if something came from God, it has to be clear, correct? Yes. And it should be understood by everyone. Yes. You are originally from India, I yep. assume which means a fisherman on one of the rivers in India will understand the word of God, just like someone who is a shepherd in the Arab Peninsula will understand the word of God, will understand what God, what God wants from him, correct? Sh should be so simple, so straightforward, shouldn't be a, there should be vague, vagueness or ambiguity, should be clear cut, especially the matters of doctrine, the matters of faith. For example, yeah, if God is one, yeah, which I assume you believe, yes. God is one. Now, if God is one, so God made it clear, for example, in the Old Testament to say, yeah, for example, worship no one beside me because I'm a jealous God. Yeah? The first commandment. Yeah, the first commandment. So, what does that mean? It means it's a clear-cut statement by God telling people to worship no one, to worship nothing except the one true God and not associate with this God any partners. Yes? So everyone will understand it. So anyone, you don't need to go to, uh, to uh, Cambridge University or to Oxford University to understand this, yeah? Can you explain Trinity in the same manner from the Bible? 
Yes. Trinity, if you're taking it in the simplest form, I'll give you uh, an analogy. As an analogy. Since you are using analogy, that means not clear cut. Why? Did I use analogy to tell you about worshipping the one God? You, listen, I'm, I'm not using my, my script, I'm using yours. Yeah? So, do I need to use analogy to, 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 to teach people that the first commandment, worship no, don't worship no one beside you because I'm a jealous God? Do you need to have analogy to, to explain it? No. So it's clear cut, yeah? Everyone will understand it, yeah? So can you explain to me in the same manner about the Trinity? Okay. There's one God, that God stays up in heaven. He has a persona known as the Father. What? The Father. He either came down on earth in the birth of the Virgin Mary, the Son, the Christ. Then, in his essence, is the Holy Spirit. Where is this in the Bible? Do, do you mean the explanation of the Holy yeah, Spirit? Yeah, you, you are explaining to me. Yes. I don't want explanation. Okay. I want me, suppose I don't know, I, I never met you. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who you are. I don't want to know you, for example, yeah? I just wanted to open the Bible somewhere and to understand this. If you're looking for the... Directly, it's there in the Bible. Directly? I mean, directly meaning the doctrine itself, but... Where? Explain what you mean. Yeah, Either... Listen, the listen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Uh, okay, baptize doesn't mean to worship them, there are three, there are three gods? Yes. Because baptism means they come upon you. No, it doesn't mean this. Sorry, sir. Um, that, it doesn't work. It doesn't mean this. You, you tell me. So, what do you want me to? Do? Baptism is acceptance. Yeah. Acceptance. It doesn't mean acceptance of the of the three. It doesn't mean worship. Yeah. It doesn't mean worship. It doesn't mean there are three in one. It doesn't mean the God came in a form. It doesn't mean all of that. So. So what are you looking for exactly? I am looking in a, uh, to a clear-cut statement. God is good? Yeah, is God good? Yeah. Or what do you think? Yeah, God is good, yeah? If God is good, God wants the guidance for us, correct? God will not leave us misguided, you know, jumping all over the world, yeah, just to know what's going on. Will, will, will give us clear-cut, you know, uh, doctoring for us to believe and to follow, yeah? So me, if I don't need to go to invest time and, uh, and to study theology and to do all of these, I don't need to do that. It should be, <coughs> if I am a taxi driver, let's say, if I am, you could, you, you, you could say, if I am a lorry driver in India, for example, driving from uh, Kolkata to whatever, for example, yeah? Suppose I'm doing, I'm doing this, I don't need that details. I need a clear-cut statement to tell me, okay, this is, if this is the book of God, I need to open it somewhere and it has to tell me what God wants from me. Correct? So when I'm reading the Old Testament, it's clear-cut, everything is clear. Yeah? Worship me, I don't worship associated with partners, don't kill, don't, you know, it's clear, clear, clear. I understand. It's understood. Don't steal, don't kill, you know, don't fornicate. It's so simple, so straightforward. Talking about stories of Abraham, Moses, you know, all of this, no problem. Clear-cut statement, and everyone will understand it. And I'm, okay, suppose I'm content with this. Except in certain things, when God was wrestling with Jacob, and then Jacob defeated him and wrestled him. Uh, what's this nonsense? I don't, uh, so anyway, so, and then when I think, uh, suppose, you know, that's, even though some people, they say it's not, it's not from the doctoring, etc. But still, it's bad to say things about God in this manner. Now, <coughs> then later on, then suddenly, God changed all of this. Will come in a, in a vague way. No one knows what's going on, what's going on with this doctoring. And in the first 300 years, if I wanted to search a bit, in the first 300 years, I don't find people amongst the Christian who have the same concept, yeah? which is about the Trinity. You'll find some people who are considered to be binarian, which is they believe in two gods or two forms of the God, which is the Father and the Son. And then we found Unitarian people who are believing in one God. And then later on, the matter of eternity were introduced, which means 
there is something that's fishy is happening here. How can you explain this? Yes, the concept itself is a bit more difficult to understand. I'll accept that from you. But when you said in the first 300 years, that's false because in the in 118, um, I believe the um, I can't remember the saint. The letters of him to other churches describes the starting of the understanding of the Holy Trinity. No, not the Trinity. Not the Trinity. Sorry? Not the Trinity. But carry on. Yeah, but the divinity of the three as one. No. They, they, le, le, listen, mark my words. <laughs> the Trinity was introduced just before the Council of Nicaea. Few years before. Before the Council of Nicaea. A few years before. It's not long time. Which is towards the, th the three, that the th in the first 300 church fathers, they were not Trinitarians. 300 years, they were not Trinitarians. Th listen to this, yeah. And then it was introduced towards the, the, towards the third century. And then, and then when the Council of Nasir, you know, they have these debates. So there is something, what shall we do? They had, they had to vote. And because it was so sophisticated, it was so vague, it was so complicated, they had to vote for it. It tells you, it's not clear even to them. The people who attended Council of Nasiya, they had debate amongst them, because none of them, some of them didn't accept it. That's why, what did Constantine? He forced, actually, he bribed some of the for church fathers, forced the others who didn't accept the Trinity, and killed them, the one, the Unitarian, and the people, the Unitarian, who ran away, he followed them, chased them to kill them. Meaning, it wasn't something he, he forced, he was forcefully being enforced to the Council of Nasir. That's why they, they won the vote. So the question is, is this doctoring of God? You tell me. I have no answer. The answer, my friend, you believe in one God, correct? Is it so simple and so straightforward? Yes? It makes sense to you. Yes? This one God, yeah? There is nothing similar or equal unto him. You agree with this? Yeah? So if there is nothing similar or equal unto him, and God is not as well and God will do things that befits His Majesty and Glory. You agree with this? Yes. Things doesn't befit His Majesty and Glory. This, these things is out of the concept, is out of the discussion about that. Do you agree with this? That means God to become in a form of a man, it doesn't befit His Majesty and Glory. Do you agree now? No. Because, Why not? Because then He came in the form of the Word of God. What? In the form of the Word of God. What do you mean the word of God? God has said to Adam, be, and he became. And God said to Jesus, be, and he became. The word, not necessarily that to say, to use that term. You see, it's still, it's vague. Even, listen. Let's use, let's use that term. Yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, read it. In the beginning. Yeah, yeah. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So, so the word has a beginning? Sorry? The word has a beginning? No. So, what do you mean the word? You, you just said that. You just said in the beginning. The, yeah? Yes. It was, it was the, the word. word. Okay. When God spoke the word. So it was it was separate from God or connected? No, it was with God. It was God. Do you know what means with in English? Combined. With. Combined. Okay. Then word become God? Yes. The word was God. It was always God, it didn't become God. So the God was Word? Yes. So how, how do you, how do you explain this? Either the Word was with God or the Word was God, one of them. When God spoke those words, that itself was God's essence. So when He spoke, so does it have a beginning? Yes, when God spoke it. Good. Which means that Word was God, that, that Word has a beginning. Yes. So since it has a beginning, it that means be God. it cannot be God. So? But it's the essence itself of God. It didn't say the essence. You, just you, you bring your... your it now is your, God. Because... How? If, it, if you said, when, the word, when God said it, yeah? 
It became God, yes? It so, didn't become God. When God said whatever God does is godly, it's his divinity. So God created us. Are we divine? No. So God created us. So not not everything, not whatever God do are uh, necessarily God. God created us. God created the heavens and the earth. But isn't the heaven divine? Huh? Isn't the heaven divine? What do you mean the heaven divine? Is the heaven not divine? No. The creation of God. The creation of God. The, the, crea the heaven and the earth, the, the everything is the creation of God. But then if the world itself doesn't have a beginning... What? So this is what you told me. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, I said it, I said it, I said it. At the world itself at the beginning, so it cannot be God. That's, yeah, that's the concept. If, it's, if, you, if it has a beginning, that, that's how it is. Our, listen, I, I'm just trying to make it. You said when the world was God, then the world become God. This is, again, it's a vague statement. You cannot use it to say this is Jesus. And you cannot say to say Jesus is God. As well, you cannot be more royal than the, than the, than the king, as they say. Yeah, it used to be in the queen, the queen of the past, by the way. Yeah? <coughs> what? Uh, yeah, right. Gahwa, gahwa. Yeah. So, for example, why Jesus didn't say this to the people? What he didn't say to the people? When the, when the people got together, the children of Israel, they got together, they were in doubt, what's this man? Some people claim he is something holy, who is this person, etc. So, and he responded to them in a clear statement. What did he say to them? <laughs> oh, which one are you trying to say? Yeah? Before Abraham was Ivan. No, no, no. All your children of Israel, our, our Lord, God is one. Yeah? Our Lord God is one, yeah? So he said to them, with no ambiguity, with a clear statement, our Lord God is one. Yes? Why he didn't say, I am your Lord? Allah yarda Ali. Hmm. Do you know why it doesn't make sense? Do you know why, why it does not make sense? Because it didn't come from God. And Allah told us in the Quran, ولو كان من عند غير الله ولو كان من ولو كان من عند غير الله لوجد فيه اختلافا كثيرا. The meaning of this, if it came, if anything came from other than Allah, they will find a lot of dispute about it. Anything comes from other than God, you will find massive disputes in it. So, and that's how it is. That's how we know the Quran is the word of Allah. Because there's no dispute. And what happened to the originals? Huh? And what happened to the originals? To that? Because if God's word cannot be corrupted, and as you say, Musa, Isa, all of them spoke the revelation of the word of God, then yeah. what happened to the originals if it cannot be corrupted? Okay. The original wasn't corrupted. The original is, but they are lost. They are not there. Well, how can the word of God be lost? This, that's the, ask yourself. Firstly, we believe this, that God is testing the people. That's one thing. Secondly, God didn't guarantee to protect his word. I mean, the previous scripture didn't guarantee, didn't promise to protect it. Yeah. And that's why if people impose things to the Bible, remove things from the Bible. And I will give you one single example. Yeah. Allah barik fi Jazakallah khair. One single example. Are the three gospels, are they similar? Yes. Yes. Okay. Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Yeah? Matthew, Mark, and Luke. What about John? John itself has a similar... It has similarities. No. You know it doesn't have similarities. It's not much. It's not so, it's not much. so, why is it considered to be the word of God? Salam. Because, um, as we have the lineage, um, it is accepted to be the word of John himself. Who? John. The but but John John there is a lot of there is a lot of there is a lot of imposed things to, in the Gospel of John there is a lot of things and by the way 
before Abraham, I am, in the beginning, was all of it is from the Gospel of John. That's the problem. That tells you there is a problem in the Gospel of John. Which most of the Christian doctrine, based on the Gospel of John, is not on the other Gospels. That's true. But then what about the statements done in Matthew, Mark, and Luke? Which is? Give me a I'm giving you two minutes. No problem. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. الله يرضى عليك جزاك الله خير تعبتك معي شكرا جزاك الله خير trust me 90% or 99% of the hocus pocus things in the in the Christianity is based based on the gospel of John huh? Paul's letter Paul that's another that's another hypocrite I don't know how someone used to be a bounty hunter, who used to, at least okay, all his life, you know what he did? I will tell you something, yeah? And think about how devil works, yeah? In the beginning, he used to go, you know, any, any Christian who follow the Christ, any monotheist Christian, people who follow Jesus, please be upon him, yeah? They were Muslims, they were believers. He used to hunt them down and give them to crucify them. He used to hunt them down, crucify them. He did hundreds. But they found that it's spreading. What is the way? What is the way to corrupt this faith? The only way to corrupt this faith is basically to embrace it. Like hypocrites, by the way, even at the, the, the time of our Prophet, peace be upon him, hypocrites as well embrace Islam. They want they pretend to be Muslims because that's the only way. That is the only way they try to corrupt Islam. But they couldn't during the time of the Sahaba. And then later on, some of the Persians, yeah. And, 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 and Jews actually, yeah, uh, who show who pretend like Abdullah bin Saba, this scumbag who is a filthy uh, 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 creature, I will say, who pretend to be Muslim. Yeah? He is the one who endorsed the concept of what we know the Shiism, these things. He was the one of the one of the one of the co-founder actually, and he started talking about about Ali, radiyallahu uh, anhu, to be you know he is in the image of God and all of these things. That's the only way basically to destroy Islam. And they tried, Alhamdulillah, Islam is strong, it will better than destroy. But the point is, it is exactly Paul succeed to do, to achieve this. My point is to you, my brother. We are inviting you to Islam, to the true faith, the faith of Jesus. Jesus, peace be upon him, was a prophet sent by God. We believe in his miraculous birth. He was born with no father, but Allah has created him with a mother with no father like Allah has created Adam as Allah stated in the Quran in the Adam that the example of Isa alayhi salam is like the example of Adam. Allah said Kun. Allah said be and he became. That's how it is. This is the example of Isa alayhi salam, like the example of Adam alayhi salam. We believe in his miraculous birth. We believe in him as a prophet, one of the mightiest prophets and messenger of God. We don't believe he was crucified, adding to this. Why? Because it was said that the one who cursed actually is the one who will be crucified on the wood. And Jesus is not cursed. That's one thing. Adding to this, that Jesus, he was, when he was supplicating to God, to God the night before he was, <coughs> they tried to quote him, he said, take this cup, cup away from him. He was begging God, asking God to take this cup away from him. And God has accepted his supplication. And that makes sense. Am I right? Why don't you become Muslim? My, my friend, the life is short. Don't waste it. So, if, and I said to you what we have agreed in the beginning. If what I said makes sense to you, to embrace the truth, yes? Embrace the truth, my brother. Say the word of Tawheed, the word of Shahada, which is to testify. There is no one worthy to be worshipped except Allah. Allah means the one God. It's the same name that Jesus said and spoke 
Elohim. Elohim is the same one. Allah. Allah is the same one. He is the God of Moses, the God of Jesus, the God of Muhammad, the God of all of the prophets and messengers, peace be upon them. To submit to him and to testify that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his final last messenger. And then you will see that is the reality of the faith. Do you want to do that? I look into it and I get back to it. No, but you know it is the truth, yes? Then do it. Don't delay it. My friend, open your heart. Listen, repeat after me. Yeah? You're ready? No. You are? I'm not ready. You're born ready? Everyone is born ready. Do you know that you're born ready? We're all born ready to be to believe in, to be believers in God. We are born ready to be Muslim. And by the way, you are not losing Jesus. You are actually earning Muhammad peace be upon him in your life. You are not losing Jesus. And I will give you glad tidings. If you truly believe now, if you accept with me now, Jesus was a prophet and messenger of God. Do you accept this? At least he's a prophet. <coughs> he's not God. Do you accept this? You're saying about the prophet. Yeah, I accept he's a prophet. He's a prophet. He's not God. You accept this? No. no. Why not? Because I believe that he was sent by God. Moses was sent by God. So he's sent. Any prophet is sent by God. That's fine. I'll get you. I'll get back to you. Why? Now, tell me. Listen, if, I, if what I said to you doesn't make sense, tell me. I'll explain. Then accept the truth, embrace it. That's what what we agreed in the beginning, correct? I say, I'll get back to it. I'll, I'll look into it. My advice to you, it's up to you. If you could go and, and learn and, and study, I have no problem. And you have the time, you have the life. But you don't guarantee your life. You don't guarantee you're going to survive until you come back. And, but here, you are here today. With your, with your flesh and, and body here. So just embrace the truth. If the truth, if what I said to you makes sense, accept it and follow it. And the, you think we hate Jesus? No one will be a true Muslim if he doesn't believe in Jesus. We believe in him. We believe he's a prophet and messenger of God. And we honor him. He was mentioned in the Quran more than our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by name. He was as well, his mom was mentioned in the Quran and there is a whole chapter in the Quran about his mother where we have nothing mentioned about the mother of the Prophet in the Quran, nothing, zero. Why is that? Why is that, you think? Because we, because it is the faith of God, it's not the faith of Muhammad, it's not the way of Muhammad, it's the, from Allah, it's Allah who he reveals, it's not what he wants, it's what Allah wants, Allah chose this, so it's not the choice of Muhammad, <coughs> it's not the choice of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and Allah said to the Prophet in the Quran, when he was, at certain point he was cursing, some people that they say and asking Allah to grant them punishment and Allah said you have nothing of the matter saying to the Prophet teaching him you have nothing to the matter if Allah guided them or punished them that's up to Allah can you imagine Allah is saying this to who to the best of the best Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that's not that's not your business it's me who guides Allah say it's me who guides and me who misguides it's not you is that it doesn't belong to you. Huh? It tells you and as well he tried with his uncle to accept for him to accept Islam. And Allah says, That Allah says, You don't guard whom you you love, but Allah guides whom who wishes. So even Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa oh, huh? even Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he couldn't guide his own uncle to Islam. Huh? What does that tell you? Do you think this really came from him? Tell me. 
If it came from him, he will make it the way that he likes, yes? Yes, if it came from him. But do you think now, according to this, it came from him? So it came from who? Tell me. According to you, it came from Allah. According to you, not to me. I'm asking you. If it didn't came from him, from who? I will give you one sign. Tells you that he is a prophet of Allah. During his time, the sun eclipsed. Massive eclipse. The people never witnessed this before. They didn't know what's going on. People there, they were illiterate. They don't have these things to read in the past what's happening before. Yeah? They didn't know what happened. They saw, they saw eclipse. And on the same day of the eclipse, or on the morning, his son died. He had a, a, the youngest son of the Prophet ﷺ. His name is Ibrahim. And he was two years old or something. Then he died. Infant. Died. Died in the morning or something. In the same day, the sun eclipsed. Same day. So that, what the people start saying, actually, God is sad for our Prophet. That's why the sun eclipsed. That's why these things is happening because of the death of the son of the Prophet. They start saying this. If someone was a liar, will he use this for his advantage? I'm asking you. Yes, if someone was a liar, yeah. he will use it for his advantage, yes? He will go out, yes, base, yes, actually, yeah, yeah. God is sad for me, yeah, but see here, when I, lost, when I lost my son, look what happened. This is so coincident. On the same day, after losing his son, and he was preparing his son, yeah? And after the burial of his son, and he was saying, he was in tears, he was saying, alayhi salatu wasalam, that veil really of our tears and the, the heart will be sad and we are feeling sad for losing you Ibrahim but we will not say except what pleases our Lord we belong to Allah and to him we shall return this is how it is fully submissive to Allah on the same day sun eclipsed the Holy Spirit saying that's what happened because we know the Prophet he said he was sad so he's sad that's why he came out and he came out rushing to the extent he was wearing the, the izar, what you call it, lungi. Yeah, you know the lungi? That, where you got the lungi from? You know where you got the lungi from? It's basically an Arab thing, by the way. <laughs> so they to wear lungi, so that's why they got it there and then they start using it. So the, he was wearing a lungi, alayhi salatu wasalam. And because he didn't tie the lungi properly, he, he, went, he rushed out to speak to the people about what they have said while his lungi was dragging on the floor. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah? So which means not tied properly, still he's holding it and is, is dragging on the floor behind him. And then when he came to them, they said, what have you said? They said, we say this is the sun eclipse because you lost your son. What did he say? Because he heard this, but he wanted to clarify. He said, the sun and the moon, those are from the signs of God. They don't have the eclipse for the death or the life of no one, including myself or including my offspring. But if you see that, you haste to pray to God. That's all. Not to me, to God. Is this man a liar? Tell me, if he's not a liar, he said, I was sent by God as a prophet and final messenger. Do you accept this? Why not? If he's not a liar. Because it's not the one day thing. What? So I need to learn more about this. It's not the one day thing. Learn. You have the life to learn. You have the chance to learn. No problem. My advice to you, don't take time. Don't take a lot of time. The time, the life is short. But at least I try to explain to you. What is Islam? Is everything what I told you makes sense to you? you answer questions, yes. Okay. Come back. I'm not here next week, but maybe the following week, inshallah. Learn. Digest what we, what we, what we spoke about. And today you go home.
take a shower, sit down. Do you have a Quran? Do you want to have a Quran? I believe I do, yes. Do you want to have a you could We could get you one. By the entrance, you know, by the entrance of the, yeah? You could get from the brothers, just ask them for a cup of the Quran. And sit down, say, oh God, I know you're there. I know you hear me. I know you see me. I know you want the best for me. And open your heart sincerely. I could see sincerity in you. I could see, inshallah. That's what I assume you, but we see sincerity that you wanted to, to follow the truth. Guide me. And when you guide me, make it easy for me. That's it. And then, if you are sincere in this supplication, if the thing didn't come to your mind, your family, your things, your things, your, the pressure that's around you, the community, the culture, or whatever, if it didn't come to your mind, then you should know that you have done, you have done the right thing. And then Allah will guide you to Islam. Is that clear, my brother? Yeah? All right? All right. Thank you. Take care of yourself. You. All right, my brother. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Anyway, we ask Allah Azza wa to guide him to the right path. And uh, you could tell the sincerity that he's, he wanted to find the truth. Yeah, Allah guide him. Yeah? Yeah,